Are you tired of jumping back and forth between your data sheet and the Eagle Symbol Editor, constantly verifying pin names as you create your symbol? Hi, my name is George Garcia. I'm a product support specialist with Autodesk Eagle, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up your symbol creation using the new Smart Paste functionality in Eagle. So the Smart Paste functionality is based around three modes. We have a strict mode, and then two heuristic, or as we like to call them, I feel lucky modes. So first, let's talk about the strict mode. So the strict mode centers around using a spreadsheet or a text file to very clearly and specifically create columns specifying the functions of each part of the data. So here we have the name column, x, y position, the length, direction, function, and the rotation. For the strict mode, you select everything, including the headers. So we're going to go ahead and select everything. going to do a control C to copy. Now we go to Eagle and we click on the paste icon. And you'll notice all the pins came in. And what's interesting here is Eagle doesn't use all of the information in the table. It doesn't use the X and Y position as well as the rotation information. It does act on the direction information. So for example we see here the T clock signal is set as an in, as you can see in the data in the spreadsheet. Right there. Set up as an in. It also takes into account the function, so it created it as a clock pin, as we can see here. And it'll also take into account the length. So here we have a long and we have a short. So this is the most strict and also the most feature rich mode. As long as you create a nicely formatted table or a nicely formatted text file using commas or spaces or tabs as a delimiter, this will take all of that information and process it easily. Now, that obviously is going to take some effort. However, using the heuristic modes, you can more quickly generate that same data. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and remove these pins. And let's look at this data sheet here. Okay. Now, using the Alt button, you can invoke kind of a single column mode in Adobe PDF Reader. Not all PDF readers support this. Uh, we found in our testing that the best way to do this is to use a PDF Reader that does support this single column specification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to select this column right here. I'm going to again do a Control C to copy it. And now I'm going to click on the Paste command and we have our pins again. Okay, in this mode, it's not going to obviously use any type of rotation. It's going to default to function. It's not going to adjust the length of the pins. So it's really just getting the pin names. Okay, and this is what we call single column heuristic mode. So it assumes always that you're dealing with a single column. Now, in addition to this mode, we have a more uh, more freeform mode, which is multi-column heuristic mode. And this one can be used basically when the first mode doesn't give you the results you want. Now, like I said, it's more freeform, so the results can sometimes be that it adds additional text. So really, we, we encourage the use of the single column mode, but in certain circumstances, because there's such a wild variation in data sheet formatting, the multi-column mode can come into play and can help. So let's go ahead and show you how to use it. It works very much the same way. I'm going to go ahead and go to the data sheet again. And I'm going to pick again, single column here. Pick everything. Okay, do a control C. Now what we notice here is that there's going to be a couple of things that, that are added. We get some extra spaces in here. We now have these forward delimiters. And in some cases, depending on how the data sheet is formatted, that can create a problem for the single column mode. So what we'll do is we'll invoke the multi-column heuristic mode. And the way we do that is you can hold shift, hold actually hold the shift button and then click the paste icon, or you can you can do control shift V. So right now I'm gonna hold shift, click on the paste icon, and now they come in perfectly formatted. 
Okay, so what, what you want to notice here is a, is a trade-off between effort in the setup versus speed of getting the pins in. Okay, so if you have a very oddly formatted PDF, but you really want to get everything, you know, get the directions in, you want to get the pin links in, you want to get the, the uh, I.O. functionality, all of that, you want to get that in, then you're going to go through the effort of making a nice table and formatting it using the strict mode. If you have a part that just quickly want to get the pins in, then one of the heuristic modes is going to be better suited. So as you can see, using these modes, you don't have to go back and forth between the data sheet and the Eagle Symbol Editor. You can just select what you want to bring in and use the paste command with a smart paste functionality to very quickly speed up your pin design. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.